Good evening, basketball fans. <laughs> Welcome to the Red Zone here at Hicksville High School as we are getting ready for boys basketball action on a frigid Arctic Friday night. Uh, no school today because of the uh, blast of uh, winter weather that we had uh, hit late afternoon yesterday. Canceled the uh, girls games that were scheduled at Edgerton last night. And no school today for the Aces, but uh, conditions improving enough to be able to get these games in this evening. It's the Edgerton Bulldogs against the Aces here tonight in a Green Meadows Conference matchup. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Murphy of Hicksville Community Television, alongside Jim Seiler to call the play-by-play. -play. And again, we'll uh, first up have the uh, junior varsity boys facing off. And after that, we'll have the uh, varsity matchup for you this evening. Glad to have you with us on the Hicks TV YouTube channel for the live stream, or you may be, of course, watching this on video on demand or on the uh, tape delay on Mediacom Channel 12. Whatever the reason, whatever the case may be, glad to have you here with us. And Jim, uh, getting near the end of the season, tournament draw for the uh, boys for their sectional is coming up. Uh, I think they're going to try to work that in after church and before Super Bowl on oh, Sunday yeah. afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Super Bowl actually doesn't start till yeah. 8 o'clock. It doesn't start till 6, I think, yeah, the actual game does. So no. they got plenty of time. But, yeah, uh, yeah so we, we have at this point no idea when the Aces will be playing or against whom. But, but we aren't going to worry about that. Uh, we've got a GMC matchup to uh, take care of right now. And, Jim, let's uh, get things started with a quick look at the starting lineups. All right, here we go. For Hicksville, uh, starting number two, J.R. Mendoza, sophomore, 5'9". Number three, Nolan Methvin, sophomore, six foot. Number four, Maverick Keysbury, sophomore, six foot. Justin West, number five, is a sophomore, 5'7". And number 10, Tatum Sheets, the tall guy. Almost. 5'11". <laughs> 5'11", yeah. sophomore. And Alex Gordon still not dressed tonight. No, he isn't. He wasn't even in the book tonight. Uh, for the Edgerton Bulldogs, starting number three, Quentin Blue, sophomore, at 5'7". Number four, Caden Picello, a sophomore at 5'11". Number five, Nathan Swank, a sophomore at 6'2". Number 32, Elijah Weaver, Weaver, a junior at 6'3". And number 35, Nate Timbrook, a junior at 6'4". They brought down a couple of tall juniors. They, yes. must, they must kind of want to win this game. I think so. <laughs> Underway. And there we go. Timbrook gets a rebound after he missed his first shot and puts that one down. And we're off to an early 2 to nothing lead for the... Edgerton Bulldogs. Here come the Aces, feet inside, stolen away. Yeah, yeah. Cleaned his pocket. Sheets got it stolen right from him by Pacello. Ball is outside. Ooh. Bingo, big three, Quentin Blue. Five nothing Edgerton. The Aces are gonna have a chore trying to deal with the two very tall players that are going to be able to they'll be able to pass inside over the heads of all the aces and those two guys will be able to catch those passes yeah no problem they, they're just tall so it's going to be a challenge so the implant jr mendoza from the outside shot over the rim and edgerton picks it off up the floor, blue across the line, into the lane, and he is fouled oh, by yep. number four. That'll be Keysbury's first personal, and team foul number one on the Aces. Oh, all of a sudden. And, wow, timeout. Quick. Well, I, I, I guess, in all honesty, that's probably a good move by Coach Dave Blue, JV Coach Dave Blue, because now he's got a chance to see how they're going to be using those tall guys. And uh, it looks like they're going to uh, be. We're having a line change. Yeah. <laughs> so something, something, something's not, something, something's fishy going yeah. on. Yeah. This is all, all freshmen. Yeah, they had the, uh, they had the five active sophomores start. 
and yeah. they've got five freshmen. So yep. they're going to, I guess, let the <laughs> youngsters take a crack at it here. The yeah, slattery is the only one with any size in there now. Mm -hmm. He's 5'11". Yeah. So we'll, okay. we'll see how things are going to go here. Two inbound and to play a ball. A cello lobs it in the top, and Smith comes away with it. Or Taylor, I'm sorry, Dave Taylor. Taylor with it. And while these freshmen are out playing, Jim, so far both Coach Tier and Coach Blue have been talking with all of the sophomores who started the game. So I almost wonder if this is like a place filler so they can uh, talk to them a little more in depth about what they want them to do. Against that size? Yeah, because uh, maybe they decided they needed more than just a 60 second timeout to. Yeah, uh, could be. Oh, Swank from outside for oh, the dogs boom. with a beam three. That makes it eight nothing Edgerton with 3.55 to go in our opening quarter. And another steal. It's blue into the lane, puts up the runner. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Slattery. Gives it to Dakota West. And he has it across the timeline. Down low to Taylor. Taylor to Slattery. Spins, gives it back out, and it's off the off handle. His hands. Ah. West, out of West bounds. not happy. Now and we have a full timeout. So that's two timeouts burned by Coach Dave Blue hmm. in essentially the, the first half of the first quarter. So they'll only have three remainder, remaining for the rest of the game. And again, uh, so far, just one foul committed in this junior varsity game by the Aces. Bill Murphy and Jim Seiler, glad to have you with us. Hope you are managing to uh, stay warm. I guess we've got ourselves a real dose of Arctic weather coming our way for this weekend and the first part of next week. All kinds of warnings out for people to make sure that they bundle up, uh, take care of the outdoor animals and all that sort of stuff. Yes. Make sure you keep your uh, little animals inside the house. Yep. Don't leave them out there all night. They'll, yep. they'll be popsicles in the morning. Back in action, and they're uh, keeping the uh, freshmen on the floor for yep. the Aces. Blue with the ball for Edgerton. Quentin Blue, Slattery of guarding him, gives it up to Swank and so Casello. A swank back to blue in the lane, bounce pass to 32 is Weaver. And he missed a shot and it's rebounded by Dakota West. Bad pass and, and it's off to blue's foot and out of bounds. Should be out of bounds right there. And knocked out by the aces so it'll Remain Edgerton's ball. As it went right basically into the chest of the uh, junior varsity coach, Max Nyhart. Yes. That's Swank with it. Across to Carter. Or Carter Herman is his name. Swank. Over to Blue. Blue down low Slow and away. Taylor steals it. Slow things down a little bit. Let the rest of the team catch up to him. West with it to Taylor. Slattery puts Ooh, up the shot. Rejected. Black. And Dakota West gives it up. There we go. That was Smith, Smith got the shot from the corner for two for Hicksville. Ball down low 
for Edgerton to Nate Timbrook. He put, put the shot up and he is fouled. That'll be team foul number two and uh, that's gonna go on uh, Taylor. Yes, it is. Two shots. Timbrook gets the first one. That makes it nine to two. Minute 50 to go in our opening quarter. Second shot is also good. It's 10 2. Edgerton with the lead. Smith drives down low and travels. Travels, yep. with the ball. Ball deflected by Slattery and picked up again by Carter Herman. Outside oh. to Quentin Blue. He tosses in another bomb. Two threes for him now, six points, and that puts the Bulldogs on top now by 11, 13 to two. Taylor, oh, double dribble. Under a minute to go now in our opening quarter. Bulldogs with the ball and the lead. Blue with it to Kohler. Herman Schwank from outside, oh, and he throws goodness. another one down. His second. And he must be a good two. three feet beyond the uh, three-point line when he buries those. Ah. Taylor tends the ball back to Dakota West, and it goes out of bounds. West was going the other direction. 30 seconds. They have no reason to hold the ball. Nope. Pass down low to oh. Timbrook, off the rim, rebounded by Taylor. Slattery down to West. Shot is up no good by West. Ball rolls out of bounds. With 5.3 seconds left, did you don't get the ball back? Blue quickly down the floor. Throws up a runner and, and it's, it's good. It. Wow. Talk about everything falling. That sure did. Who? Oh, 18 to 2. The Bulldogs lead the Aces at the end of the first play period of action. Yes, indeed. And while we've got some time here between quarters, we'll take some time to say a big thank you to our basketball broadcast underwriters making our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Once again, lending us their underwriting support, making it possible for us to bring you both boys and girls basketball action from the junior high all the way through the varsity level for the 2020-21 basketball season. We want to thank them so very much, and uh, they're going to be helping us uh, to... Uh, Follow the Aces on the tournament trail as well. We appreciate that more than we can say, and we hope that uh, you'll join us in thanking them for their support. Remember, anytime you see Aces basketball on Hicksville Community Television, they're the ones that help make it possible. The Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio. Jim Schmidt, Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Well, they've got the A-team back out now. The <laughs> the sophomores yeah. are back on the floor. Keysbury with it. Is it to Justin West, JR? Mendoza. And ball is stolen yeah. from him. Swank with it. Down, turn around. Ooh. Good. Eight points for Swank. And it's an 18 point lead for the Edgerton Bulldogs now. And 
Methan into the lane, puts up her rolling ball. Ball Ooh, is stolen. stolen from the Bulldogs. He's Barry. He's Barry. And tried he, to get the guy to bounce it off of me, and it didn't work. He nope. stole it instead. He caught it, yep. Pass out top to the hoop. Blue ball knocked away, picked up by Swank. Blue to Swank, down low to Kohler, back to Blue. Over to Herman, Herman to Blue. And we have a hand foul push by Mendoza. Yep. Mendoza's first, team foul number three on the Aces. 4.42 to go. Common foul, so out of bounds to the Bulldogs. In the corner, Swank shot off the rim, no good. Rebound to Deco or, uh, Justin West. Keysbury with it. Keysbury looks low, Justin with it. Over to Mendoza into the lane. Right, a bounce pass inside and it was kicked by Nate Timbrook and it'll be Hicksville ball. ball. Into the game for Edgerton number 10, Eston Kennerk. Keys very quickly puts one up. It's short. Rebound picked up by Tim Brook and to Blue up the floor. Caden Kinnert gives it to Herman. Rebound is to Nate Tim Brook and he can put it cleans down. up. Yep. Yep. Well, he can dominate this game. Yep. Nobody can hold a candle to him height wise. And there's a steal by Blue. Oh, does travel. <clears throat> so we're gonna have. So that'll be 10. team foul number four on the Aces as Sheets picks up his first personal. And so far the Bulldogs have not committed a foul. Kinnert gives it to Blue. <coughs> nice push there by Justin. Yeah, West, his first. Makes it team foul number five. Five different guys with one foul each. <laughs> yeah, Coach Blue is yeah, getting. Working the, uh, working the officials on the yeah, sideline there. He's, he's being animated. Blue gives to Herman. Herman jumper from 12 is no good, and it's going to be off of Keysbury, and Blue just got a tee. So a technical on Coach Dave Blue. That'll be two technical free throws, and they're going to send Blue to the line. 3-12 to go in the first half. 22-2. 23 to 2 now. As the Aces are unfortunately right now on the receiving end of a good old fashioned rubbing. Unfortunately, yeah. and 24 to 2. So it's a 22 point lead. Quentin Blue's got 10 points. And he's got the basketball. And we're just about halfway through this second quarter. Kenner with it to Blue. Inside it goes to Tim Brook uh, and off go. the glass and good. Eight points now for Tim Brook unofficially. 26 to two. Justin West over to Mendoza. Mendoza to Keysbury. Down low and shot runners put up no good. Rebound Keysbury. Uh -huh. Ball is stolen by Blue. Justin West all over him. 
And Mendoza, Mendoza gets a number two. Second personal foul on JR, and that's team foul number six. Into the game for Edgerton, number 11, Chase Timbrook. And back into the game, Taylor, number 23, for the Aces. Kinnert in the corner with the ball to Chase Timbrook. Blue with it, out on top. Ball is stolen by Mendoza all the way to the hoop, and good. that's good. Breaks a long scoring drought for the Aces, makes it 26 to four. The minute 59 to go in the first half. And he got another one. Justin West. And that's number seven, so it puts the Bulldogs into the bonus for the remaining one minute and 55 <laughs> seconds of this first half. <laughs> I, I hate to mention this. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Blue is almost ready to explode. Yeah. <laughs> Misses the front end, so the score remains 26 to four. Here come the aces. Keysbury with it to Mendoza. Thought about a jumper, didn't. Justin West, loose ball. Still, Still on the floor, loose. gets it back. And he's going to be, well, they're letting him play. And they finally. <laughs> he got another one. That's a jump ball, at least. So oh, Edgerton man. will get the ball on the possession arrow, but it spares West from his third personal foul. That's for sure. That is for sure. Oh, down in the corner, it goes to Kinnert. Off the rim, rebound Mendoza. Knocked away from him by Kinnert and Hicksville gets the ball with 125 remaining here in the first half of this JV game. 26 to four is the score. Keysbury to Methvin. Methvin jumper yep. down low. You're not, you're not gonna go be able across. to do those passes with Timbrook down there. He's got the wingspan to be able to pick those off. And that is true, because he is long. Yep. Ooh. Hits the deck, pass deflected, loose on the floor. And timeout called by Coach Dave Blue, so they'll retain possession. <laughs> but that's the third timeout of this uh, first half, so there's only two left for the Bulldogs for the second half of this game. <laughs> but when you're down by 22 points, you, know, Doesn't you, you really can't really hold back and be conservative. So, no. no, you can't. Quick 30 second timeout. And again, this has just been like two different teams. I mean, the Bulldogs, 26 points. They haven't committed a foul in the first half. The Aces have only scored four, and they've already committed seven fouls. 49 seconds remaining in the half. It's Keysbury bringing it up. Down in the lane, runner off the glass, no good. Rebound chased down in the corner by Blue. Up the floor, ball stolen by Mendoza. He'll draw uh -oh. the foul. Finally, the Edgerton Bulldogs get whistled for a foul here. Chase Timbrook with the foul. Mendoza at the line. Shooting pair. This and is the first one. That's the second one fall. Three points for JR now. Blue to Timbrook. Kinner. Caden Kinner over to Blue. Blue headed for the lane. Caden Kinner. The other Timbrook misses. And didn't draw any iron, and that is the end of the first half of play. With the Bulldogs on top of the Aces, 26 to five here in this JV game. 
So we've reached the intermission. And what has been uh, for our Aces fans, I'm sure, kind of a tough game to watch so far. And as you mentioned, our halftime score, it's the visiting Edgerton Bulldogs leading the homestanding Aces in this junior varsity game, 26-5, to the halftime score. We're going to take a break, but we invite you to stay tuned. Jim and I will be back, and we will have all the exciting second half play-by-play -play coming your way right here on Hicks TV. Welcome back. We're about a minute and a half away from getting the uh, second half underway here at the Red Zone. If you're just joining us, our halftime score, it's the visiting editor and Bulldogs dominating the Aces in this junior varsity game, 26-5, to the score at halftime. And, uh, Jim, three Bulldogs responsible for all that damage. Yeah, and they're, they're, all three of them are close to doubles, too. Uh, Quentin Blue has hit... Two trays and a basket and two free throws. He's got 10 total points. Number eight, or on uh, number five, Nathan Swank, he has two trays and a basket. And he's got a total of eight, as does Nate Timbrook with three baskets and two free throws. For the Aces, it's J.R. Mendoza with a basket and a free throw for three. And Chris Smith with a basket. basket for two. That's it. So 26 to five, Dave Blue pulled a technical foul in the first half. So if he were to rack up another one yeah. in the next uh, 12 minutes, uh, we'll be bidding him adieu for the remainder of the game. <laughs> He'll bid some of his uh, money <laughs> adieu also. <laughs> Aces are gonna have the ball to get the third quarter underway. And we are underway. And once again, with a play-by-play, here's Here we Jim go. Seiler. So, Keysbury to uh, Justin. Bring it around. Keysbury's got it back. Maverick makes the spin. Goes to Nolan Methvin. Inside the Tatum oh, Sheets. Nice. And puts up a nice shot. It'll be interesting to see if there have been any adjustments made. Again, the two juniors that have been moved down to the junior varsity, we were talking about this in the first half, and if, you, if you're just joining us, are going to be a real headache for the Aces JV squad as they've got quite the height advantage. One being 6'3", oh. and the other 6'4". Sheets just stole the ball from Mr. Swank. He has a Keysbury and oh. pass down to Sheets, and it's off him out of bounds. Couldn't stand prosperity there. more people trickling and I think this is probably even with the reduced uh, capacity one of the biggest crowds we've seen for a basketball game here at the red zone this season lots of Edgerton faithful making trip off the glass and good so now he's, he's in got doubles 10. with yeah. 10 28 to 7 Bethman is going to be fouled Red five, Swank. Swank. His first personal team foul number one on the Bulldogs for the second half. Mendoza to Keysbury to Methvin down low to Mendoza. He does more things with that ball. <laughs> Rolling it over and spinning it. Oh, rejected. And oh, it'll be a my foul. Goodness. Got him on the wrist, so JR will go to the line. That swank got him. Yeah, that's two quick ones now on Nathan. So Mendoza shooting a pair. Got the first one. 
That makes him two for three at the free throw line so far. Three for four. 28 to nine. Blue with the ball out on top to Pasello. Shot off the iron. Off the iron, and nice clean rebound by Methvin. Keysbury into the corner. Sheets with it over to West. Shot from the corner by Keysbury is. Rebounded by Elijah Weaver, number 32. Oh, well, we're tied up. A blow for the blow the whistle for the uh, jump ball, possession arrow. Pointing to the Bulldogs with 3.08 to go in our third quarter. Ball out to Blue. Sheets on him. Over to Kennert. To Swank. Down low to Weaver. Ball picked up by Keysbury. Is it Mendoza. West to Mendoza, moved around to the other side, sheets into the lane, out to Methvin, off the rim, no good. Nice job, check Justin West off. Blue in downtown, out of bounds. No. Nothing. In the game the number 14, Caden Leppelmeyer. And who's the other one? Number 22. Yes. Caden Franz. So Franz and Leppelmeyer in the game for the Bulldogs. Sheets to the hoop. Runner is off the rim and he is fouled. 22 picks up the first one. That'll be France. And we're gonna have a timeout. That'll be team foul number three. Aces timeout, so they Coach only got Blue one is left. down to one. Yep. You can only stop the clock one more time, and I imagine he may save that for the fourth quarter, but quick 30 second timeout. Again, uh, right now, third quarter action, it's the Bulldogs leading the Aces in this third quarter of the JV game, 28 to nine. In the first half, the Aces racked up uh, seven team fouls and put the Bulldogs into the bonus. And uh, Edgerton only committed one foul in the entirety of the uh, first half. Yep. And this half, it's three for the Bulldogs, three team fouls, and none for the Aces. And Sheets misses his first free throw. Gets a second. Misses them both. Misses both. Ouch. And he just snaps the ball. Doesn't really push it foul. Timbrook with the ball outside. Over to Blue. Down to Leppelmeyer. Back to Blue. The Sheets, or Swank. Blue at the corner of the lane. Get the rebound back. Battle back into the paint. And shot put up by Franz, and it's good. Caden Franz. That'll make it 30 to 9. 
21 point lead. Nice move and didn't get the roll. Timbrook with the rebound. And Timbrook positioning himself pretty well. The Aces are pretty much getting one oh. shot. Yes, they are. He's very knocked the ball away. Aces with the steal and 14 gets a personal. Yeah, that'll be Leffelmeyer. Team foul number four and again a common foul. Aces will have the ball out of bounds side court. Twenty-five seconds left in the quarter. Methvin in the lane, out to Sheets. Mendoza to West. Loses control of the situation. Got it back. Give it to Mendoza. Ooh, be a jump ball. Jump. That should stay with Hicksville. 2.3 seconds. The Edgerton JV coach not happy with that jump ball call. No. The indication to start out was it was a push, but the bucket is good by Justin West for the Aces. So the score after three periods is 30 to 11. So as we get ready for the uh, fourth quarter, we'll take another moment to say a big thank you once again to our basketball broadcast underwriters who make our coverage possible here on Hicksville Community Television, the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships in Hicksville, Ohio, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, if you are in the market for a vehicle, whether you want one that is brand spanking new or pre-owned, be it a car, truck, van, or SUV, you can stop by, and you can stop by. You can uh, make it way through with the road construction and uh, check out the great selection that they have on the lots, or you can check out the entire dealer inventory anytime online at jimschmidtauto.com. Remember, it's always about service. Before, during, and after the sale at the Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, we're so proud to have them as our basketball broadcast underwriters, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick and Jim Schmidt Ford right here in Hicksville, Ohio and online at jimschmidtauto.com. So Carter Herman inbounds the ball, gives it to Blue. Blue with it to Herman. Swank. From three, no good. Rebound, mm. Keysbury. Ball and him are both knocked down and out, and it'll be Hicksville ball. Number 33, Cooper Everts in the game for the Bulldogs. Mendoza tries to dribble between his legs, and it gets knocked away. But a Keysbury. good pass. Oh, she put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Ah. It was too late then. Jump ball, and that'll turn it over to the Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Slattery coming into the game for the Aces. He's going to spell Sheets. 30 to 11 with 524 to go here. Fourth quarter action in this junior varsity game. The Bulldogs with a comfortable lead. Of 19. They're trying and to some tell discussion. You that it's evident Hicksville ball. Yeah, evidently. So Keysbury to inbound to Slattery. Justin West lobs inside to Methvin. Gives it back out to Mendoza. West Mendoza quickly in the air, no good. Ball loose, run down. Slattery gets our. And that's going to be the last timeout of the night for the Aces. As Coach Dave Blue 
Burns the last time out. A full one minute timeout. The Edgerton coaches are bending the ears of the official a little bit. He got a smile on his face though, so. Oh, how can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> he has, a, has a wrinkle in his mask. Yeah. No, I meant the uh, the uh, the Edgerton coach talking with the official has got a, uh, oh, yeah. a clear face guard yeah. so you can see his mouth and so he was having a nice conversation with him. He Should asked. be Ace's ball. As they only use about 45 seconds of their one minute timeout. 4.59 and here we go. Aces cannot stop the clock. He's very the Mendoza. Mendoza to Methvin. The Slattery knocked away. Throws it down low to Methvin. He turns, puts it up, it off oh. the rim. Just don't get it high enough on the glass. <clears throat> Long pass down court. Blue inside the Kohler back out. And that's going to be number three on Mr. West. Yes, sir. Justin West will pick up his third personal foul. That's team foul number one on the Aces for the second half. Mr. Carter Herman to inbound it. Out to Quentin Blue. Swank down to Herman. Across the swank, stolen by Justin West. And hits up to Keysbury. Oh, on. nice move by Maverick Keysbury. 30 to 13 now. Oh, and Maverick turns it around and commits <laughs> a foul. So that'll be Maverick's second. And team foul number two on the Aces. Sheets coming back into the game for Keysbury. That's a quick one on Mendoza. Yeah. It's his third. And team foul number three. Oh. Up and good. And the foul. That's for the big man, Cooper Everett's. Number five. In team West. West has four now, and that's team foul number four for the Aces in this second half. And Justin's going to have a seat. Keysbury comes back out onto the floor, and Everett's oh, completes yes. the three-point play. Yes, he does, in bank-style fashion. Hicksville with the ball, Mendoza dribbled it. Over to Keysbury from outside. Oh, it's a little short, and rebound pulled off by Riley Kohler for the dogs. Blue to Kohler to Herman out front swank. Oh, oh. ball died Ooh. on him. Tripped up, but Mendoza right there to scoop it up and, and lay it lays in. Lays it in. Gives Mendoza seven points to lead the Aces scoring. 33-15 now. Kohler to Herman. Cross court to Swank. The two big boys uh, not in the game now. Oh, Swank three. with downtown. So they'll be uh, having quarters to go in the varsity game. So 13 points now for Nathan Swank, and it's uh, back to a 21-point lead now, 36 to 15. Methvin shot is up, rebounded by Everts. Herman, the Swank, uh, Everts. 
Nick DeHerman quickly inside and he couldn't handle it. It would have been an easy bunny. Hicksville gets the ball on the steal. Mendoza up on top over to Methvin. Drives into the lane, kicks it back out. Slattery from outside. Oh. Good. Braden Slattery with a tray. 36-18 now with a minute 44 left in the regulation. Oh, we have a 30-second timeout called by Edgerton to get four newbies on the floor. Let his squad catch their breath a little bit. 36-18, so really the outcome of this game is not in doubt. Again, both the Aces and the Bulldogs have committed four team fouls. The Aces have a run through their, their five timeouts, so they are not able to stop the clock. And this is the first timeout taken in this game by the Edgerton Bulldogs. So they have four remaining. They're back out onto the floor. Here come the Aces. And again, the Aces are going to have some personnel changes too as they basically are going to put up the white flag here and just play out and get some of the younger kids some. Lincoln Yoder is on the floor, yep. as is Aiden Pollock. Number Dakota 22, West. Chris Smith, Dakota West, and Braden Slattery. So pretty much the freshmen are going to finish out the game here, get some game experience, some playing time. Edgerton has Caden Leppelmeyer, Eston Timbrook. I see Eston Kennerk out there, number 11. Or no, number 10, excuse me. Number 33 is Cooper 33 Everett. 33 is Cooper Everett's again, yeah. And 22 is Caden Franz. Caden, Caden Franz. So that is their lineup that's on the floor. They have foul just committed by number 33 for Edgerton. That is Cooper Everts. That's shooting two. Lincoln. Hey. Yoder gets a free throw. We'll have another one. Got it, the ball. So it's 36-20, Bulldogs with a 16 point lead. Ball kicked out. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh. No, Hicksville will get the ball. Braden will Slattery inbounds it. The Smith, Smith back down to Slattery from corner. the corner. Ooh. No good. Lincoln Yoder inbound or saved it from going well, out of bounds. Sort of. <laughs> he bounced it off of a bulldog because so, it's a Hicksville ball. Yeah. Good job. 42 seconds left, 36 20, a 16 point lead for the Bulldogs. Lincoln Yoder gives it to Aiden Pollock. Pushes it out to West, Dakota West. Braden Slattery tried to get in, back out to Dakota. Chased down by Chris Smith. There you go, Slattery. There we go. Oh, yeah. and good. Nice runner. Five points for Braden. Down to five seconds. Not enough time to get a shot off. Nope. 36 and to 22. 36 to 22 at the end of the game. Get you the stats here quickly. Well, I can go ahead and run down the aces here. Uh, unofficially on the short end of the scoreboard. Uh, leading scorer for Hicksville tonight was uh, J.R. Mendoza. J.R. had a couple of field goals and three free throws for seven points. Uh, it was five points for Braden Slattery on a uh, 
on a tray and a two-point field goal. Slattery had the only three-pointer for the Aces in the game this evening and finishes up with five points. After that, it's two points each, a bucket and two for Maverick Keysbury, a bucket and two for Justin West, bucket and two for Tatum Sheets, bucket for two for Chris Smith, and uh, two free throws for Lincoln Yoder for two points. And there you have it, 22 for the Aces. Well, you have to check this because I came up short. Uh, Quentin Blue he had two trays, a bucket, and two free throws for eight. Nathan Swank ten. led them. Huh? Two threes, a two, and two free throws oh, for ten. Ten, okay. Yeah, I'm even now. So Nathan Swank had three trays and two uh, field goals for 13. Caden Franz had a basket for two. Cooper Everts, a basket and a free throw for three. And Nate Trimbrook, three baskets, two free throws for eight. Their total of 36. There we go. So it all jives. So there you have it. And again, just a, a spanking for the Aces JV squad at the hands of the Edgerton Bulldogs here tonight. And we'll hope that uh, the Aces can bounce back in the varsity game coming up here shortly. That uh, is about 19 and a half minutes away from right now. So we're going to wrap up this live stream and take a bit of a break. But uh, again, we will be resuming uh, well, our second live stream of the night as we'll have the varsity action for you coming up right here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. So with that, we're going to uh, wrap things up for this junior varsity game. Again, a big thank you to the uh, Hicksville Athletic Department, Mr. Houghton Overmeyer, for giving us the space and allowing us the permission to live stream the coverage for you here on the Hicks TV YouTube channel. Thanks once again to the uh, Jim Schmidt family of automotive dealerships, Jim Schmidt Chevrolet Buick, Jim Schmidt Ford, and online at jimschmidtauto.com, underwriting our basketball coverage here on Hicksville Community Television. And thanks to you for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the coverage this evening. So with that, we're going to wrap it up once again. Final score in the Junior Varsity game tonight. It was the visiting Bulldogs of Edgerton knocking off the Aces 36-22. to We'll be back in about 17 minutes with the second live stream of the Varsity game. And until then, for Jim Seiler calling the play-by-play -play and Chris Warner running the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy for Hicksville Community Television wishing you good night and good sports.